cooking creamy chicken and asparagus. And this is one of our 30 minute meals. I have got over here, which my timer just went off. It's five minutes I was heating up this everyday rock crock, everyday pan. And so I put the, I've heated that up and I need to get my chicken over there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the chicken on my closing cut and I'm going to slice it so that I end up with four chicken breasts. And that's going to be what I need for my meal. So we've got this going. We're gonna, I'm going to top it with some paprika. And as I put the paprika on it, it's going to saute for a little bit. And then we're going to add the other ingredients to it. So we've got our chicken breasts here. I have my paprika that I'm going to just sprinkle along and then just wipe it around on there so that it's nice and covered. And then we are going to put it in the pan that's already heated. So this is the smoked paprika that I'm using. Like I said, it's, an, it's a 30 minute meal, so it's very quick and easy to make. So we're gonna put this in with my heated oil into my Rock Crock Everyday Pan. Stick this in here and put one more in it. I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then we're going to chop up the shallot or the onion, whichever you have. I didn't have a shallot, so I'm using an onion. And I used my nice little flexi mat to put on top of my wooden uh, cutting board so that it wouldn't get the, the meat from the, uh, the oils from the chicken onto my wooden cutting board. So what I'm gonna do is put the onion in there and I'm gonna get two cloves of garlic. and just going to stick them. Now, at this point, I would normally use my garlic peeler, but I've had two garlic peelers, and it's my favorite tool in the kitchen, and both of them have disappeared. So I ordered another one, and hopefully it's gonna be here in the next couple of days. But right now I'm having to do it the old fashioned way which I, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me do the garlic. So we're gonna use the knife and gonna get the peel off of the garlic, which if I had the garlic peeler, I would be putting it in the cylinder and rolling that around so that it would um, peel off easily, but don't have that, so I'm using my the back of my knife. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use this manual tooth processor to finely chop it. Get that all ready to put into the mixture. Special appearance. Okay, we have a special appearance here by Little River. He's come to visit and his mom, Catherine. And we're going to now, uh, as the chicken is cooking, I'm going to turn people. it over. And we're browning it for about two or three minutes on both sides. So it gets a little bit brown. It's not going to cook all the way through because we're going to finish it off in the microwave. We're going to add as soon as that other side gets brown, we're going to add the shallots and we're going to add the chicken, well, we're going to add the shallots and the garlic first to let it saute and get a little bit translucent. Then we're going to add the other ingredients. So what I need to do now, that needs to go for a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. Uh, 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 
is Brooklyn. Can you say hi, Brooklyn? Hi, She's my little helper. She likes to get in this bottom drawer and play around in it. So, we have the onions in here, and they're going to saute on the bottom. Just like that. And then we're going... Oh, I'll just mention this. This is our new Season's Best Cookbook. You can get it for like $4. And this is the recipe that we're cooking in it. So um, I'm just going by the steps that it says. So after the, uh, the garlic and the onion gets translucent, I'm going to add the broth and the cream cheese, which I've melted it a little bit in the microwave just to get it a little bit softer. And we've got half a cup of chicken broth, one eight ounce, bag of cream cheese and uh, we're going to cook that for about two minutes and let all the cheese melt. We're going to take the chicken out for a little bit while we um, let the broth and the um, cream cheese get all softened and melted in there. So what I'm going to do is take a look at my chicken. With our veggie that we have with this particular recipe with the chicken, it's asparagus and you, you're, we're going to top the chicken with the asparagus and put it in the microwave and cook it. So now we chicken looks good enough that I'm going to take it out so that I can add the cream cheese and also the chicken broth in it. So there, the onions are looking really good. So what I'm going to do right now is get my Planted wooden teak wooden spoon. I'm going to put the chicken in, I mean the cream cheese in. That was nice and soft. Stir it around. Going to get my chicken broth and put it in. We're going to stir this up so it gets nice and melted. I'm going to take, get the rest of this chicken broth out. And this is going to be nice and creamy. So what we're going to do is as soon as this gets melted, we're going to put the chicken back in here. Then we're going to top it with the asparagus. And we're going to cover it with uh, the lid, and we will cook it again, or cook it in the microwave uh, to finish it all off for eight to ten minutes. Um, and that's going to finish it off, and then we'll just be ready to eat. So, like I said, this is a thirty-minute meal. It's very easy, very fast, and it really does taste good. We've made this another time. And everyone who's eaten it really does like it. So it's incorporated together. So what I'm going to do is get my mini whipper out and just go around and get all of that cream cheese stirred up. One thing about the everyday pan that I do like is we can put it from the stove to the microwave or you can go into the broiler, the oven, you put it in the, on the grill and you can also wash it in the dishwasher. So it's very versatile. Cook a little bit and I'm going to read you off the ingredients that we put in here. So we had a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of veggie oil that we divided and put half of that in there to cook um, the chicken in. We heated it up for like five minutes. Then we had our four boneless skinless chicken breast which I had two of the big chicken breasts and I just split it with using the cut and close or the closing cut. And then we topped the chicken with the one teaspoon of paprika. 
we used one shallot or an onion, and I just used an onion since I didn't have the shallot, and it was about the size that a shallot would be. Then two cloves of garlic, half a cup of chicken broth, and eight, uh, an eight ounce cream cheese softened, which is what we've just put in here, and then eight ounces of asparagus, which is, this is a bunch, one bunch of asparagus is what we're gonna use, and then half of a lemon, and the lemon is basically just to back in on with the sauce and then top the asparagus and then a couple of the lemon slices. It's all nice and creamy. There was a little bit of the paprika from sauteing the chicken, so it's got a little bit of a coral um, color to it. So now I'm going to take this and to get the, the chicken in, rest it right on top. Okay, turn that off. I'm going to get my asparagus and I'm going to cut it into like two inch pieces and just put those all around in the pan itself with the lid on it in the microwave. So here we go, sort of like that. Now, I did a very bad thing and broke the lid to my everyday pan. I've got to get another one ordered. So I'm going to use a plate, a glass plate that I have to cover it up. But first I'm going to let you see what it looks like. So this is basically it before we stick it in the microwave. Looks nice and yummy. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. to 10 minutes. I'm going to do eight minutes. Okay, so the chicken has been going for eight minutes. We're going to pull it out and check it to see if it's done. Let's see right here. I'm going to use my Heat thermometer to see if the chicken is ready and cooked all the way through. It'll look pretty good. Yes. So it is ready. So all I all we have to do is just let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to put the lid back on it and put it over. Here to the back. Uh, I had about two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of brown sugar that we have in it that it's cooking. Um, so that's basically what we're going to do. Where we'll be bringing that back around and we'll let you see what that looks like when it's all completely done and plated up. Okay, so we're coming back in. We're going to plate this up. I use my lid to put my chicken on. So I'm going to take this over. I'm going to pull out one of the chicken breasts. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Right there. Some of the juice. And just pour it around the top. And also, we had our chicken. And, we had the carrots over cooking. and so, with the carrots, we let them cook until it gets to be a little bit of a thick, buttery sauce. And then we just plate it up. So, I'm going to put a few of those right here on the side. 
And that's basically our meal. We've got creamy chicken and asparagus.